I see this project as a contemporary classic. It has beautiful volumes, beautiful materials, and I just see our contribution as something to make it live longer and live better. My name is Alexandra Mode. I'm the director of Queen Mab Studio and the head designer for the Paddington renovation. The Paddington Terrace is in the suburb of Paddington, Sydney. It was originally two Victorian homes that were renovated by the architect Anthony Gill and completed in 2011. Several years later, Ian purchased the home from their original owners and contacted me in 2020 to talk about doing a renovation on the house. There were elements of the home that had aged really well, really beautifully. The timbers, the floors, the shapes, the lines, the volumes. But there were some aspects of the home that hadn't perhaps aged as well, this being the bathrooms and the kitchen. So when we brought our intervention into the house, I wanted to make it feel like it had just always been there, that it just was a part of this home and that it would age with the home over many years. My name is Yas and I work in the sales team at Artodomus. Some of the key products used in the recent renovation are in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. The porcelain venado pressed porcelain panels from Artodomus are used in the main kitchen and the bathroom features the Neptune pressed porcelain tiles for the vanity tops and the walls. So the house had a lot of existing American oak timber, which is warm with a beautiful grain in it. And I was looking for a product that would sit really well alongside this. Something that was warm, that had a bit of texture, that was contemporary, that was minimal. And the large scale panels of the porcelain was ideal for this. So we're here in the kitchen now where the Maximum Venato matte finish 12 mil pressed porcelain was used and they've used the 12 mil in so many different details. They've done mitered corners, the fronts on the other side of the island bench. They've featured it on the splashback in the kitchen and also the back bench and they've just used it beautifully in this kitchen that's well loved and well used daily. In the kitchen we use the Venato whereas in the bathroom we use some of the Neptune panels. My client is quite insistent that he wanted to have the same but different, a sort of as Jay as Bach would describe, a theme and variation. So we had the lighter colours in the kitchen and then something alternate in the bathrooms. So we've got this beautiful Venato bench top in the marble print and they've opted to put it on the cabinetry front. So the drawer fronts and the cabinetry all have the pressed porcelain adhered to the substrate of the carcasses. It's another benefit to using pressed porcelain. Because of its thickness, you can adhere it to the fronts. Porcelain is really beneficial to use in a residential home for many reasons. I mean, no product is indestructible, but there are certainly ones that perform better over the long haul than others, and this would be one of the best. Pressed porcelain panels are probably the most durable and robust product on the marketplace at the moment. They are non-porous, scratch resistant, UV stable, resistant to thermal shock, and non-combustible. However, we do have a few design tips to avoid chipping, like aerosing the edges. So in terms of manufacturing and processing, pressed porcelain panels are manufactured and installed by a stonemason or a tiler that's experienced in working with the material. There's probably about 200 plus different designs, patterns, colors, and finishes available. They're also available in various thicknesses. In most instances, six mil is what's used for cladding and splashbacks. 12 mil is usually used for bench tops. So porcelain panels are not an alternate product to marble. They actually are a different product. They function in different ways. You can do different things with them. They clad really well to surfaces. They are lightweight. There's a warmth in the touch as opposed to a cold touch. And they just look really great in the space. If a client comes in and wants to use pressed porcelain, first we assess what they already know about pressed porcelain and we try and educate them and fill in any gaps. Once they've decided that pressed porcelain is the product for them, we help them through the process, whether it be suggested installers, if they need a designer, any of those things. 